seven ancient cars still produced today. In such a cutthroat market as car sales, the manufacturers rely heavily on innovation and evolution. Design, safety and modern technology are all crucial to stay ahead of the competition. Strangely enough, some manufacturers get it so right with certain cars that they only need minor technical and cosmetic changes throughout their lifetime. Case in point, Porsche 911. Number 1. Land Rover Defender Despite not being manufactured anymore due to safety regulations not being met, not including the Defender would be simply wrong. With underpinnings dating back from the 1940s, the Defender was officially launched in 1983. Although it is manufactured in Series 3 now, it's not that different from the first one. The Defender is still so popular that its values have recently actually started to rise on nearly new models because you can't get the new one anymore. If you want a tough and rugged vehicle that's appreciating value, then this is your car. Number 2. Suzuki Jimny Strictly speaking, this Suzuki can trace its route back to 1968, continuing on through the Suzuki Samurai of the 80s and the 90s. To be fair to this list, however, the current Jimny model has been on sale brand new since 1998. Despite being very dated inside with poor handling and ride comfort, Jimny is still a very capable off-roader. There have been very few mild facelifts with buttons instead of levers to engage the low range and four-wheel drive, but that's about it. It's probably not going to survive for long in Western markets in today's age, but no doubt it will continue selling in other marketplaces for years to come. Number 3. Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon As the maker of the first patented automobile, Mercedes-Benz has always been known for two things, evolution and progress. There is one car, however, that is an exception to that rule. The Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon or G-Class. This rugged body on chassis of off-roader started its life in 1979 as a purely utilitarian vehicle design designed for military use. Little did Mercedes know that it will be still in production almost 40 years later. Instead of being replaced by something newer and better, it just continues being churned out of the factory turning bizarrely into a luxurious and very expensive car, especially in the full-on AMG version with that famous 63 engine giving it an amazing sound to go together with the unique looks. Number 4. Lada Neva It was the Soviet Union's vision of an SUV during the Cold War times. The development of this model began in 1971 and the production model came in 1977. Since then it has been produced in many different versions and there were also numerous updates, but the basic shape and technology have been exactly the same for almost 40 years. The Neva's reliability, strong off-road performance and easy to fix nature made it very popular. Although discontinued in a lot of markets, the Lada continues to be sold new in a lot of European and Asian markets. Number 5. Peugeot 405. Nowadays, we often think of Peugeots being slightly boring and more unreliable cars, especially not something that car guys will be interested in. In the past, however, that was simply not the case. Ever since the legendary 404 sedans in the 60s, Peugeot had a fruitful relationship with African countries where models were licensed for years, even decades after the original cars stopped being produced in the native France. 405 Sedan was introduced in 1987, but it was discontinued just 10 years later in 1997. Sold so well, however, that since 1995 it has continued to be sold under licenses by third-party companies in Iran and Egypt. Although the underpinnings are the same, I think it's fair to say they made the appearance look much worse. Still, with the original being designed by Pini Farina, it's going really hard to improve on that. Number 6. The Lotus Super 7. You may not recognize the name Lotus 7, but what if you, I told you it was basically at Caterham? 
first produced in 1953 by the famous racing construction and Formula One visionary Colin Chapman, the 7 was conceived as a lightweight and simple sports car with tubular chassis and minimal bodywork. In 1973 the production of Lotus 7 started, but in the same year the production rights were bought by another UK-based company called Caterham. And since then Caterham has continued building these amazing sports cars using mostly Ford and Rover derived hardware. Lotus 7 has become a platform for many extreme evolutions that often offer supercar beating performance. Just check out the 48,000 pounds 7620, yes, with 620 bhp in such a small package. Number 7 the Morgan 44. If you're a Kaigar, you will be sure to have heard of Morgan. What you may not know, however, is that their uh, 4.4 has been in production since 1955. Sure, the back to basic sports car had a lot of changes over the years, for example, the introduction of a Ford Sigma engine and the new gearbox, but looks wise, it's almost identical to the car that rolled out of the production line just 10 years after the end of World War II. Morgan have always been famous for the traditional coach building and handmade crafts, but I wonder how many people you could fool that your one-year-old car was a classic. So there you are, seven ancient cars that they still produce today. Any cars that I missed? Comment below and I'll reply back to you within the first 24 hours. As usual, thanks for watching. Lucas out.